Hi, my name is Matthew Ryan, Senior Market Analyst at Ebury. We're going to have extraordinary night of politics in the UK for an austerity general election, which resulted in no shortage of volatility in the currency markets. Stone had already rallied sharply against his major peers in the lead-up to the vote, as investors braced for a comfortable Conservative majority victory. It became clear this would be the case before the result of even a single constituency had been announced, after the Ipsos Mori exit poll suggested that the Tories were on course for the largest majority victory in over 30 years. While the actual outcome ended with a slightly narrow 80-seat majority for Boris Johnson's party, the damage in the currency markets was already done. The pound immediately rallied 2.5% higher against the US dollar following the exit poll, while also rallying to a stronger position versus the euro since the EU referendum itself in June 2016. We had said prior to the election that we thought that the pound would ride to the 134 level against the dollar and the 120 level against the euro in the immediate aftermath of a Tory majority victory. The actual move in the currency in the end proved remarkably in line with this view. So what happens next? Boris Johnson will move full speed ahead to force his Brexit withdrawal agreement bill through the House of Commons as quickly as possible, possibly before the end of the week. This is now all but certain to pass, which should pave the way for the UK to leave the EU before the 31st of January deadline. The removal of the no-deal threat should, in our view, provide good support for the pound in the next few weeks. Attention will, however, quickly turn to whether or not a full agreement can be reached with the EU before the end of the transition period, or whether an extension beyond the 31st of December 2020 is required to avoid a no-deal Brexit. For more information on the election, sign up to our market updates or visit Ebury's website today.